Hello everyone, welcome to Desert Cyclint. And for today, we're gonna be talking about the aerial roots sa ating mga succulents. If you have a succulent, you would notice that after some time or after a while, you would eventually notice that there are some aerial roots like what you are seeing right now sa stems ng ating mga succulent. And this isn't a major problem, but it is also a sign that our succulent needs attention. Itong mga ito are what we call nga yung ating mga aerial roots and sometimes we also call them as an air roots and it is a subcategory of a special type of root na tinatawag nating adventitious root. Itong ating mga roots, they're supposed to be growing dito sa ating soil but look at this one. Diba? Tumubo siya sa stem kung saan hindi dapat siya tutubo dyan. So that's what we call now yung ating adventitious na roots. The color nila is parang whitish to pinkish in color and they are very soft. Look, they are very flexible, especially yung mga bagong tubo na aerial roots. But eventually, after a couple of days or weeks or even months, this would eventually turn into a color brown color. As an example, this one is our Fetschenko. Yung kanyang aerial roots started with whitish to pinkish in color as well. Pero right now, since habang nagmamature siya, nag-turn na siya into brown. Generally, yung ating mga aerial roots will form on a succulent if it's not getting enough water. And often, when it's in a humid environment, like for example here, sa Baguio City, our humidity level is very high. Today, I checked the weather app and nasa 95% ang humidity level dito as compared sa lowland areas na relatively mas mababa yung humidity level ninyo. Ayan. So, in short, if we are not watering our succulents well, then they will start to search for more and that is the time when aerial roots start to form. Hindi lahat ng ating succulents will grow aerial roots and usually nagkakaroon tayo ng aerial roots sa mga succulents that have stem so for example yung ating mga echeverias or yung ating mga sedum in front of us is our sedum aurora and you won't really see some aerial roots sa ating mga haworthias or sa mga aloes so in general if you will be watering correctly our succulents then we won't be seeing any aerial roots at all. Although itong mga aerial roots naman na ito, they won't really cause harm sa ating mga succulents. So in fact, yung ating mga aerial roots have several different functions. Unang-una nga dyan is that yung ating mga aerial roots can absorb water from the air. So as we have mentioned earlier, because of the humidity level or high humidity level dito sa ating area, some of the plants get their water from the air instead of the ground and usually itong mga ito na itong mga aerial roots na to are responsible for absorbing yung ating water vapor although it's gonna be slower as compared nga doon sa ating mga traditional roots na nasa soil talaga and another function nitong ating mga aerial roots is that they can absorb nutrients from the air pero paano nga ba yun nangyayari occasionally yung mga nutrients could be carried by water vapor and yung mga water droplets na nasa hangin. But of course, they are just in small quantities. And itong mga aerial roots na ito can actually harvest those nutrients. So pangatlo, yung ating mga aerial roots can also provide structural support sa ating plant. So I just wanted to feature itong ating Fedschenko. Look at this one, tiba. It's very nice to look at. But as you can see here, Ayan, ito yung kanyang aerial roots na nagmature na. And this one, look at this. If you will be looking at this Fetsheng Koi sa likod, you would see na itong kanyang aerial root na ito has already reached itong pinaka-soil. As time passes by, nagmature na siya. And itong kanyang aerial roots, which was soft before, tumigas na siya and it became a part nitong kanyang pinaka-stem. So it already helped anchor itong ating Fetschenko, especially the this succulent, itong ating Fetschenko can really grow really high and habang lumalaki siya, it really needs support and that's the use of these aerial roots. So, see the big difference? Ganyan na siya kalaki. Since it's continuously growing and definitely it will bend down, the way for it to support itself 
is by having uh, or producing yung ating mga aerial roots and eventually once it reaches the ground it would help the succulent anchor itself like what I have explained to you earlier. For example this one, see may bago na naman siyang aerial roots it will continuously grow until it reaches the ground. I'm planning of repotting this and put it in a bigger pot or mismo idedirect ko na lang siya sa lupa para there is a bigger chance na ma-support niya yung kanyang pinaka stem. Is it okay if you will be removing itong ating mga aerial roots? And the answer is yes, we can actually remove them. But for example, mga ganito pa lang siya, bago pa lang yung kanyang aerial roots, I don't usually remove it. But for example, in this case, na nag-mature na siya and nag-dry na, what I usually do is remove them. Except for this one kasi uh, umabot na siya sa kanyang pinaka-soil so there's no point of cutting this. But here, may nakita ako, yung growth ng kanyang aerial roots is upwards, hindi siya pababa. Eh, hindi siya masyadong magandang tignan, especially if masyado ng madami. Kaya what we will be doing right now is simply try to cut this. Cutting these aerial roots won't really harm itong ating mga plants or succulents. So we really don't need to worry. You can just simply cut them anytime. Aside from cutting nga yung mga aerial roots na nagmature na, what else should we do about these air roots? Simply, we have to water our succulent more deeply. And we have to make sure it is getting plenty of light. Kasi pag hindi siya nakareceive ng plenty of light, the problem is it would ethulate. And when we say ethiolate, magiging leggy siya or stretchy or mas mabilis yung kanyang growth. And because of that one, magkakaroon siya ng aerial roots since nagiging mabigat na yung kanyang stem. And as a way for it to anchor itself, it will produce itong ating mga aerial roots like what happened to our feds chinkoy na finiture natin kanina. And that's it. Join me as I water itong ating sidum clavatum and our sidum aurora sa labas. Ayan. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page at Desert Succulent PH.